welcome back to another unboxing. It's been a while since I've made one of these videos because, well, I really couldn't find anything to unbox, but I think I finally found it today. Um, I've been looking all over for these, and it is the Hyperkin Xbox One Duke controller. Now, if you're not familiar with the Duke controller, it is the original Xbox controller for the original Xbox. It was um, a massive controller, and it did not get a lot of positive feedback. In fact, Microsoft went ahead to change the main controller to the Xbox S controller, which came from Japan. So the Duke was out. A lot of people did not like it, but it has recently gotten a fan following, a cult following, however you wanna say that. So Seamus Blackley, the original creator of the Duke controller, contacted Phil Spencer and just talked about the revival of the Duke. And at first everyone thought it was a joke. It might've started as a joke, but later on, it became an official thing and Phil Spencer gave Seamus Blackley the original rights for the Duke controller. And what is really cool is, you know, a lot of times people, the nostalgia, they, they want it. And I think this is going to be really nostalgic for a lot of original Xbox fans. So with a partnership with Hyperkin, we got the Xbox One Duke controller let's take a look all right so here we are the hyperkin duke controller it's an official xbox one product there's the back of the box the bottom the sides and the top I am ready to open this thing and not keep spinning this, this box because for some reason I really am having fun spinning this box. Okay, let's get this open. I have been excited to open this since I bought it and then I've looked and looked for it and finally I've found it. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to get this thing open. Oh man, look at that. Oh wow, a very special thank you to, as you can see, as uh, some of the people that were, um, that helped get this thing a reality. As you can see there's Seamus Blackley there, there's Phil Spencer, the Xbox community, the devs behind Halo, Jessup Radio Future, oh that's neat. All right, let's see what else we got. The Hyperkin Duke wired controller. Yeah, it is wired. It is not wireless. I did want to point that out. Um, just like the original, I guess, but I'm pretty sure that's because um, even though this is official, Xbox does not allow their third party, uh, third party company to have their technology of the wireless Xbox One controller. Not sure why, but that's just the thing. So a quick start guide. I think this is just your basics. In fact, it's very small, the smartest quick start guide I've seen. All right, let's get to the actual good part. There it is. It comes in a really nice case. All right, we got some, got some wires, the wires to connect to the Xbox One controller. But what's really important is this and oh my goodness I, I gotta be honest this is incredible <laughs> I, mean, I mean I really do feel like I'm holding the original Xbox controller this is just this is amazing so as you can see one really one thing I'm really glad they kept is the black and white buttons because those are very I mean, they're just, they've always been there on the original Xbox controller. You can't, can't leave those off. Um, I have heard that those are what the RB and LB buttons are. So if you're still into the using the RB and LB, they have put little bumpers up here. 
but if you want to be OG about it, you can still use the black and white. The A, X, and B, Y buttons are sideways like the original. It didn't get, until the uh, Xbox One, or Xbox S controller, sorry, it didn't get uh, just circular. They were little oval shapes. And the sticks are the same. They added the uh, menu and uh, options buttons, or whatever these are called now. Not start and select. I think they could have honestly kept it start and select. I mean, we all know what start and select is. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. There's the back. Triggers are really nice. Hyperkin Duke. This is a really neat controller. I, I am very happy to own this. I'm excited to have friends over and hand them this controller. I want to see if they their reactions are the same as mine was. Like just the fact that I'm holding this and it's going to be available to people that want that nostalgic feel of their first Xbox console in 2001. It was discontinued in 2003, but you know, people still owned the Duke. And uh, even though it was replaced with the S, I feel like the Duke has a lot of, it, it's in a lot of people's hearts still. And I, I'm very happy that this, this could happen, this uh, deal that they did. With, uh, with Phil Spencer and Seamus Blackley, along with Hyperkin. Um, it's very amazing, and I'd like to see more companies do that with, with uh, a lot of stuff that people find, or miss, really. So let's take a little thing off there. Now I will show you the best part of this controller, because obviously, you can see me in the reflection, but obviously there's something missing here. So let's go and see what that is. Alrighty, I've switched locations here because I need the Xbox. But uh, before I reveal the, the really awesome thing about this controller, which I'm sure a lot of you know, I wanted to point out that there is a headphone jack at the bottom. And then at the top here is where you plug in the cord. And we will do that. And there we go. That is literally the coolest thing. And and uh, I'm not sure how the video is going to look on that, but it is an OLED screen and it is gorgeous. That is just, that is awesome. Let's do it again. I can hear the sound of it starting. Too bad it doesn't play sound. But alrighty, everyone. That is the Xbox One Duke controller by Hyperkin. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you gonna get one of these? If so, are you getting it for the nostalgia purpose or are you just wanting to actually experience the Duke for the first time? Anyway, leave a like on the video, guys, and I will see you in the next unboxing.